guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel as always. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm not even quite sure what year it is. <laughs> it has been like day 6,025 of quarantine. <laughs> if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I really appreciate that you're here. Hopefully it's not the first and last. I am so excited for today's video as per usual. <laughs> I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, I don't think I'll ever make a video that I'm not necessarily excited about. So you're always gonna hear me say I'm excited. So I'm excited for today's video because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a very, what I consider like classic light to dark smoky eye using all drugstore products because look, let's be real. Makeup is so much fun, we love it, it's amazing, but the truth is that it can get very expensive and that can be a little overwhelming because you know what, we all wanna look good, we wanna feel good, we wanna do our makeup, we wanna have fun, we wanna express ourselves, but sometimes our pocket are not in agreement with what we wanna do. But luckily for us, drugstore brands have really just, I mean, <sighs> drugstore products have really really come through and they are amazing there's so many different options nowadays the quality is amazing nowadays i feel like there's pretty much everything that you need you can find inexpensive drugstore brand of so anyways that's what we're going to be doing today i am super duper excited let's go ahead and jump into it because i'm looking pale and i look like i need some makeup on <laughs> Okay, so like I mentioned, today we're going to be doing a classic light to dark smoky. And all that means is the eyeshadow is going to go from light to dark and it's going to be smoked out. I want to do it where it's like not too dramatic, but it still gives us a little bit of glam. Something that is just very wearable. The first thing I'm going to go in with is the Maybelline Master Prime Primer. And I'm just going to put this all over. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And now this, I'm actually not gonna put all over my face. I'm only going to put that right here because I tend to have larger pores right here next to my nose. And so I like to go in one way and then go the other way. Please don't look at my nails. <laughs> I'm going to finish doing my nails today. So you see like I go circular one way and then I go the other way. I feel like when I do it this way, I see a huge difference with the size of my pores and how visible they are. All right, so the skin is prime, prepped, ready to go. And for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline. This is the Superstay 24 hour foundation and I use the color 312. If you've watched any of my videos, you know how much I love this foundation. It's one of my favorite. And you guys are also gonna notice throughout this video that I love Maybelline. I would say that Maybelline is probably like my favorite favorite drugstore brand. So I just pump a little bit on the back of my hand and using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I'm just going to start tapping that in. Oh my goodness. This foundation at one point used to match me perfectly. That means that this self-isolation, staying home thing is <laughs> really starting to affect me. Okay, I'm gonna go in with like about one more pump. I do have a little bit of breakouts and so I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. I would say that this foundation is more of a medium to full coverage. It's definitely very buildable. I am more of the oily skin, so this is perfect for us oily girls. Now, I'm not going to say that it does not transfer at all. I would say that for me, after having worn it maybe for like four or five hours, I have to repowder it. If not, it can transfer a little bit. Okay, so moving on now to concealer. Again, I'm gonna be using Maybelline. I mean, can you tell I love this concealer? It's time for a new one. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And for today, I'm gonna be using the color Sand. And I am just going to place this under my eyes. I am gonna do like that V under my eyes because I do wanna brighten up. Oh, I love this concealer so much. I love like how it applies. Like I love that it has like the little sponge as a tip. It just makes it so much easier to use. Okay, I'm also gonna go over my eyes because I am going to be using this as a primer. Okay, I'm actually going to go and blend it out with my finger first 
just because I want a little bit more coverage and sometimes the beauty sponge can just pick up and absorb a little bit too much product and so you have to go back in and reapply. So I find that if I go in with my finger, I can blend it really easily but it definitely stays with more pigment and it gives me more coverage. Now once I'm done blending it this way, if I feel like I just want to slightly go over it with the beauty sponge, I can definitely do that. So far so good, we're looking good. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much set everything in place. Like I mentioned earlier, I am very oily and I live in Miami, so not setting your makeup is not okay. I always, always have to set my makeup with a powder, whether it be a pressed powder or a loose powder, but for me, it is an absolute must because if not, in 20 minutes, my makeup is gonna be melting off and it's gonna be gross and not cute. To set my eyes, the first thing I'm gonna go in with is this Wet n Wild Pressed Powder. I'm using the color 823C, which is a neutral beige. And I'm gonna go in with a little baby beauty sponge. This one's also from Real Techniques. Now, always remember before, look at me, I'm like, there's no mirror there. Before going in and setting your under eyes, always, always, always make sure that there is no creases. If you put powder and there is a crease under your eye, it's not going anywhere. You have set it and it is there to stay. So I'm just going to press this into my skin. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing now with my lid. So I'm blending out any creases I have because I know I definitely had. And then I'm gonna go in with the pressed powder and press that all over the eye. Now I'm ready to pretty much set the rest of my face. Not to use that, I'm gonna be going in with, surprise, Maybelline. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the loose finishing powder in the color Fair, which is 05. Now I will tell you that this is way too light for me, but currently right now it's the only color that I have. We're just gonna have to make it work. It is going to sort of wash me out and make my foundation a little bit too light. We could just go ahead and fix that with a little bit of bronzing powder when we get there. Now all I do is I put a little bit on the top and I use a little powder puff and I just press that in. I get these little lines on my forehead so I always make sure I smooth them out before I set them. It's the same concept as the eyes. You don't want to put any powder if there's any creases or any little lines because then they're gonna be pretty much impossible to take off. Okay, now using that same powder, I'm going to grab my little baby beauty blender. I'm gonna pick up some of that loose powder and I'm gonna place it under my eyes. This, as usual, I always do this. This is going to help in case we have any fallout with our eyeshadow. It doesn't mess up any of our hard work. And all we have to do is just wipe it off when we're done with our eye makeup. And then we don't have to worry about looking like a raccoon or like we got punched in the face. <laughs> For my eyeshadow, can you guess what we're going to be using? <laughs> I'm gonna be using, again, Maybelline. I'm gonna be using a combination of these two little mini palettes. This one is the City Mini Palette by Shayla. I love this. And I'm also using the City, the City Mini Palette High Rise Sunset. Now the reason why I'm doing a combination is because I want the eyeshadow to be more on the neutral side, but I still want a little bit of drama. So I love all of these neutral colors that come in this palette. However, there isn't a dark enough color to give me that drama that I'm looking for. So that's when this one comes in. I'm gonna be using the black in combination with that deep chocolate brown. The first color I'm gonna go in with is this really pretty brown, but it's like brownish with a little bit of like an orangey undertone. I'm going to start on my crease. The brush that I'm gonna be using is from Morphe. This is the M441. Okay, so I'm gonna start from out here, and then I'm gonna do like little back and forth motions, and then I'm just going to windshield wipe my way inward. 
The reason why I always start on the outer part of the eye is because wherever you first go in with the brush, that's where the brush deposits the most amount of pigment. And so I want the outer corner of this makeup look to be darker. Now slowly I start to move up and blend upward. So using the same brush, now I'm going to move on to this brown color right here on the palette. And I'm just going to pretty much repeat exactly what I've been doing, where I start on the outer corner, I stamp it right here, and then I start to blend it inward. So far, the only difference is I haven't taken this color as far up as I did the other one. And that's what's given me like that gradient effect where the eyeshadow goes from a little bit darker to a little bit lighter as it goes out. Now I'm ready to move on to the other, the Shayla palette, because I am going to start going in with this chocolatey brown color. Now, I'm kind of like really loving the way this looks. I love all the neutrals, so I'm not exactly sure. I thought I was going to go into the black, but I'm kind of like really loving this right now. So I'm going to go in first with this like deeper chocolate brown. I did switch over to a blending brush. However, this one is a little bit less fluffy. Let me show you guys the difference. So... You see how this brush is very, very circular. It's very, very fluffy all around. And now when you compare it to this one, this one is a little bit more tapered on the sides. It's a little smaller, not as fluffy. And the reason why I did that is because I'm going to focus this more on the outer corner. And so the smaller the brush, the more precise I can be where exactly I want the eyeshadow to go. So first I'm gonna stamp that out there in the outer corner of the eye and then I'm gonna do like little circular motions. By the way, if you hear this, <laughs> this is me tapping any excess powder from the brush so that it gives me a little bit less, a little bit less fallout. I always recommend doing that, like getting into the habit of doing that because there's some eyeshadows that have more fallout than others, but I say like why risk it, right? <laughs> Just tap. It's going to save you a lot of trouble. Now I'm switching over to that first fluffy brush and I'm just going to sort of blend everything out. Next, I'm going to go in with this really pretty shimmery color from the Shayla palette. Now, that is something that I love about the Shayla palette. It has shimmery colors where the other one is just matte. I'm going to go in with, and I'm just going to do this with my finger. I'm just going to grab a little bit, and I'm going to put that pretty much on the inner corner where I have not so far put any eyeshadow, and I'm just going to tap that. Oh, so pretty. I love that these shimmery colors are very shimmery, they're very pretty, but they're very wearable. You could wear them during the daytime, you could wear them at night. Okay, so what I have decided to do is I'm not going to go in with the black shade. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in for a winged liner. What says drama better than winged eyeliner? So for eyeliner, no, I'm not gonna go in with Maybelline. Although I have my, Mayb my Maybelline one right here, it's just, it's drying out. I feel like it's a little bit too dry from using it so much. Now I'm gonna go in with my other favorite, which is from NYX. This one is the Super Skinny Marker. And we're just gonna wing this baby out. It's incredible how much the eye changes with the eyeliner, no? Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal eyeliner. This one is infallible black velvet and all I'm gonna do is slightly go over it to make it a little bit darker, make it a little bit more intense. So now I'm 
ready to move on to my bottom lash line. To do that, I'm going to pretty much, this is what I always do unless I want like a pop of color on my lash line. I usually repeat the exact same thing I did on the top. I do on the bottom. Now for this, I do need more of like a pencil type of brush. So I'm going to be using this one. This one is from crown professional and as usual i will go ahead and i will add everything to the description box below in case i forget to mention it you can always go ahead and check it out okay so i know that the first color i went in with was with this one i feel like it's a little bit too light it would almost be like a waste of time to go back into this color right here so i'm just gonna jump into this one right away and i'm going to run this on my bottom lash line starting from the outside and I'm just going to blend it out. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing where I start on the outer corner and then I just blend inward, kind of going back and forth like a windshield wiper motion, staying as close to my lashes as I possibly can. So I want things to look even darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my setting spray. I'm going to spritz my brush, the same brush that I've been using. I'm going to pick up that same color. And this time I'm going to go almost like on top of my lash line. And this sort of makes the eyeshadow a little bit more like a paste. Ah. Now to give that a little bit more of like a smoky kind of feel, I'm going to go back in, I'm going to go back to this little brown shade. Now I switched over to the more fluffy brush to help me blend it out. And then I'm just going to go over that, focusing mostly like on the bottom part of that to just smoke everything out and blend it out. Okay, what do you guys think? So far, so good. It looks very, very wearable, very pretty, very neutral. Before putting on my eyelashes, because it's pretty much what we're needing right now, some eyelashes, a little bit of glow and highlight to the eyes, I want to move on to the skin, to bronze up. I'm going to be using, of course, <laughs> I'm going to be using a combination of these two Maybelline Fit Me powders. I'm going to be using 360 in combination with 362 and using my Morphe, I don't know what, it doesn't have a name. I'll find the name, but all I know is that it's a Morphe brush. I'm going to tap into the lighter color, and then I'm just going to pretty much start bronzing up the skin. Now, I'm focusing this on the outer parts of the face, leaving the center a little bit more light. I am going to go in with a fluffy brush and that same powder that I've been using. I'm just going to lightly go over with that to give me a little bit more color, make me look a little bit more sun-kissed, make me look like I haven't been in quarantine for like six years. <laughs> now that I feel like I'm a little bit more just bronzed all over, I'm gonna go in with the darker of the shades and I'm just going to lightly tap that on the outer perimeters of the face. So I want to go in and intensify my contour. Okay, I look so much more alive and healthy. <laughs> so now I'm ready to move on to some blush. This is one of my favorite parts because I love me some blush. For today, I'm going to be using a little bit of a combo. I couldn't decide, so I said, you know what? Let's just use both. The first blush I'm going to go in with is one of my favorite ones. This one is from Milani. This one is coral cove number five then i'm also going to go in with a little bit of this other milani one which is looking rough because <laughs> i use it so much and this one is rose dior in number two i am obsessed with this blush i feel like it's the perfect tone it's pinky enough but it's corally enough it's just so pretty and now the other one I'm going to go in with is like a baked blush and it does have a little bit more of a shimmer. So that's why I love this combination. All right, you see like I love this combination. It makes me feel girly, makes me feel pretty. I look alive, I don't look unhealthy. So next I'm going to go in with, of course, highlighter. And for today's highlighter, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And I love 
these highlighters, all of them. They are absolutely amazing. They're super pigmented, but they're not like cheap, like glittery looking, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. fluffy brush and I'm going to pretty much just highlight a little bit more on the outer part higher part of my cheek i don't want to bring it down too much because i don't want it to bring out any texture in my last video i mentioned to you guys that i know we love highlighters and highlighters are very in and they're amazing but unfortunately they can be our best friends slash worst enemy because if you're suffering from texture a highlighter will definitely definitely bring out texture in the skin Put a little bit on the bridge of my nails and on the tip of my nail. Now I'm also gonna use the same highlighter to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna go back in with more of a pencil brush and I'm going to tap that right there. I want it to pop a little bit more, so I'm gonna go in and spritz my brush with my setting powder. <laughs> Excuse me, with my setting spray. I'm like, what is that? My setting spray. And then I'm going to tap that there. Alrighty guys, so I am back with my eyelashes on. And of course, these are drugstore lashes. These are my favorite, the Ardell Wispies. Super easy to put on, very inexpensive. They look absolutely beautiful. And in my opinion, it's like just enough drama, but just natural enough, you know? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off any powder that we might still have under our eyes. And now we are ready to move on to lips. For my lips, I wanna do something a little bit more natural, a little bit more nudie. I want the eyes to be what sort of pops and stands out. So for lip liner, I'm gonna be using this NYX lip liner in the color Mauve. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with this Rimmel London Super Matte Lip Color in the color Be My Baby. That's so cute. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. I'm gonna put a little mascara on my bottom lashes. All right, so what do we think? I like the cookie. Alrighty guys, so this is pretty much it for today's makeup look. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. This is probably like one of my favorite, favorite makeup looks ever. It's very popular with my clients. It's one of those where like you can't go wrong. It has just enough drama. It's still simple enough where you can wear it during the day or you can transition it from daytime to nighttime. I absolutely love it. I hope that you guys love it as well. Today's video is proof that you really don't need to spend an arm and a leg to get bomb makeup. Lucky for us nowadays, drugstore makeup is just as good, if not sometimes even better than some very, very expensive makeup that's out in the market right now so yeah so this is pretty much it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that you guys are all staying very safe and i will see you in my oh wait wait before i forget please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already please also don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up to let me know that you like it and now this is it i love you and i'll see you in my next one bye I just... Ooh, I dropped it. So, so...